Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel tutorial from ITME and this is tutorial number 63 and in this video we are going to talk about a category of function that is called as database functions. So let's get started. Okay so the main objective of database functions is just to perform aggregation like sum, count, average, minimum, maximum, standard deviation based on a condition. Now you might be thinking that Zishan we already talked about some function, we talked about condition sum that is sum if and then we talked about a function that was count if that can have multiple conditions so we had count if sum if average if for single condition we had sum ifs count ifs and averages and a lot of more functions for having multiple conditions now what is the use of this database function so let me explain you first of all how we were using the basic sum if and count if functions and then what are the limitation of that so if i want to perform simple summation of the sales over here i can say equals to sum and then I select the range on which I want to do the aggregation press enter and you get the result now if you say that I want to see the summation of the year 2018 that is only one condition I can use sum if equals sum if and then you just need to specify the range on which your criteria would be based so I select that and then second is asking you what is the criteria so I'm looking for all the values 2018 comma and what is the sum range that is optional so this is the data I want to do aggregation on so it will look for all the values 2018 and it will aggregate all these four values and you'll get the result over here so I press enter and you get the result 50,000 third function was count ifs where you can have more than one conditions given so I can say equals to sum ifs and then I can specify the sum range, the range on which you want to do the aggregation, comma, and then you can specify the criteria range and the criteria. So I say that I want to do the criteria on this column. I select those cells, comma, the criteria I'm looking for is 2018, comma, and then you can say like this, I can keep on adding any number of criteria ranges and criteria. So second criteria I'm gonna add over here on region, this is the region column and then I say comma and give me all the records where region equals to east and when I press enter key you're gonna see that we have east over here and east over here but this east is 2017 and this east is 2018 so we have only one record that satisfies the criteria and we get that result 10,000 right now the problem with this is that whatever criteria you specify that should be on separate column I cannot have two criteria based on just one column so let me show you what I want is suppose I want to see the total of east and west sales right so if I say equals to sum ifs the summation I want to do of this sales column comma the criteria is this column the criteria range comma the criteria is I'm looking for east comma the second criteria is again on the same column and then I'm looking for west right so I'm saying that do the summation of the sales wherever the region is either east or west now when I press enter key what you are getting is zero so in this case the limitation of sum if is that whatever criteria you are entering they should be of separate column because one cell cannot have the same value east side by side with the west so this is the limitation of that so to overcome this situation we're going to use the database functions so same way like sum ifs count ifs and averages we have bunch of functions available if you want to see the list i can go to insert function in the formulas tab we don't have any category directly available for database related functions you can see over here so for that you just need to go to insert function from here you can go or shift f3 is a shortcut for that and then you say I want to look for all the database related functions and this is a list of all database functions now when I click on these functions you can see that all the function they take three parameters the name of the database that is the range from where you want to get the data field on which column you want to do the aggregation on and then what is the criteria range and you can see we have average count count a for uh, cells that are not blank d get maximum minimum product standard deviation sum 
variance so a lot of functions are available over here so we'll see a lot of functions over here in this video so now let's see how to perform this operation so let's insert some records over here so as we were doing in the previous video we talked about advanced filtering quite similar concept if you have not seen that video just go ahead and watch that video about advanced filtering then understanding this would be comparatively easy okay so what we want to have is two ranges created one is on which you want to do the aggregation second is your criteria range so the limit another limitation of these functions was that whatever criteria you were having that was hard coded within the function so there is no reusability if you want to reuse the same criteria for average if or count if or minimum ifs or maximum ifs you cannot use that thing so now let's do that thing we need to create the criteria so i say just copy and link it here and i say i want to have the criteria is given over here now the best practice is to give the name to the cells rather than referencing the range so if i just select this cell and let's give the name sales and this criteria I give it name C1 uh, or let's say sales underscore criteria okay so now I want to have the count of records summation and average minimum and maximum I want to calculate that so how to use count is I can say equals to D count. What is my database? One option is if you have not given the name to the cell, you can just select this range and that way you can do that. I have already given the name so I can say rather than showing over here A4 till C12, it is giving the name of that range sales, comma, what is the field on which you want to do the aggregation? So that is this cell or I can hard code within double quotes that I want to do the aggregation of the column sales of sale it should be exactly the same column name comma and then what is your criteria range so you can give the name of the criteria range you can select that range or you can give the name of the criteria so i have given over here sales criteria and you can see this area got highlighted now criteria could be two rows or three rows you can have any number of rows over there so as of now i have just selected one row now when i press enter you can see we are getting this value and I can click and fill it right and then I can change the name of the function so here I want to have D sum here I want to have D average here I want to have D min and here I want to have D max okay so all these values you are getting so you can see by default i don't have any condition over here so it's giving me all the records counting summation average minimum and maximum now i say give me just the records for east so just type over here east and when i press enter now you are seeing the records for east only so count minimum maximum average and summation I can also do it for a particular year if I say just show it for 2018 now you are getting the aggregation for 2018 I can also do relational operator I can say over here just show me the summation of the records where sales is more than 15,000 enter and now it's doing the summation based on more than 15,000 so we have this record this record and this record and you can enter the criteria on multiple columns also so i can say i want to have for east for 2018 and you are getting the result so you can see it's perfectly fine to use this database aggregation function d function now let me show you one more example for d get okay so i'll be using over here insert and let me create the link to these cells and now i want that whenever user enters some number over here over here we should get the details of this employee so how can we do that as again we can do it using the d functions d get functions so let's first of all give the name to this range so i can say that this is e emp for employees and then i will be using equals d get where i want to get from the database name is emp this range name I have given to this range comma 
what is the column you are looking for so i'm looking for this column first i can also type within double quotes first but when i'll be filling towards right you're going to see that it will automatically start pointing to the next columns comma what is your criteria so my criteria is this you can give a name to this criteria also i have not given so i need to just make it absolute so that when i fill this formula right it always points to column a when i press f4 now it is absolute enter and now i can click and drag right right now you can see you are getting all the information so as i change over here one you can see you are getting this records information when i press 10 you can see you are getting the information about record number 10 so this is pretty nice to get the information so this is the requirement over here is that whatever value you are looking for in dget that should be a primary column a unique column that each and every item you are having over here should be unique so like this we have a lot of other aggregation function for uh, standard deviation and variance and a lot of other stuff that is all related to statistics but i hope you got the idea that how to use the database functions so hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video